Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Today we'll be learning about attributes of a line. This video topic was requested to me. Guys, before starting, I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. It motivates me to make new videos for you. So let's get started. First thing, what is what are the attributes of line? Line has three basic attributes. First one is called line width, second one is called line color, and third one is line type. So basically these are the properties, okay, or attributes of the line that we can specify or then the otherwise the default values will be applied okay so first we'll learn about line width the line width depends on the capability of the device to display it so it depends whether this device can display different different types of width for a line or it has some default by default uh, capacity above which it cannot go okay in raster scan display the standard width of a line or a default line is drawn with one pixel okay so the default value for line width is one pixel okay at each sample position to draw a thicker line what we do is we just draw another parallel line to the previous line and just adjacent to it so it is just below it or above it okay so it's adjacent the command to set the line width is set line width scale factor and in bracket you specify what is the line width scale factor you want to add so you can be like more than one it has to be okay because one pixel is by default so two three four whatever you want so this is line width okay let's look at an example let's say okay so we are drawing a line okay now by default this is one pixel you can go over here change the width okay it's like two three point whatever it depends on what you want what what is the weight or width you want okay so this is how you change the line width all right now second attribute is called line color okay when we draw a line the default color of the line is displayed like for example the color of line drawn in microsoft paint is black okay so this is the default value the number of color choices depend on the again the capacity of the device okay so not all the devices will be able to display different different colors okay if you have a black and white system very likely to happen now but let's say you have a black and white system then it will be only able to display line color black color or little bit grayish color that's it or if you have black background then maybe white color so these are only three four options that you will have with your black and white system but again it depends on the number of bits available per pixel in the frame buffer so what is the command for setting the line color set poly line color index and then you specify the color index that is index color ic okay in microsoft paint we are given a drop down area to choose from different color options okay so it looks like this we'll take a look at an example let's say we draw a line okay now this line by default is blue color okay now you can change it to black okay or you can change it to let's say red okay i'll just change the uh, now to green to make it look a little bit better we'll increase the weight so you can see the color yeah see now it is green color or you can make it red whatever you want so these are the options that are available to us for changing the line color all right now third attribute is called line types okay there are three types of lines first one is called solid line which looks like this second one is called dashed line which looks like this and third one is called dotted lines okay now solid line is the default line which is drawn with the complete solid section in the length like this this is completely solid okay there is no gap in between okay to set line type attribute in fix application the command is set line type and in new bracket uh, you uh, supply the line type all right we'll first look at dashed line so what is dashed line to draw a dashed line we generate an inter dash spacing that is equal to the length of the solid section again it depends whether it is equal or not you want different different uh, types of dashed line you can choose that also so basically we specify the full length of the line first we specify the full length of the line and then we uh, specify the length of the dashed solid section and the length of the spacing so usually it will automatically find out how many number of dashed lines that is a solid section and how many number of the blanks or uh, the spacing is there and then it will draw the full line okay the this forms the dashed line now what is dotted line dotted line is exactly like dashed line but instead of the full length dash we have a dot that is the smallest dash available okay to draw a dotted line it very short dashes okay in this dotted line the spacing between the dots okay small dashes can be equal or greater than the dash size okay we'll take a look at an example let's say we draw our first solid line all right yeah okay now we'll just increase the width so that we can understand or locate it better now we'll change the dash type okay 
so first we have the dashed line okay you have equal size of dash equal size of dot okay now you can change the size of the dash that is solid section you can change the uh, change it to dotted section you can see all right so this is dotted line or you can make it dash dot inter da dash dot line also it looks like this all right so these are the different types of dashed and dotted lines that's it for today guys thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it please share subscribe with, uh, subscribe to my channel share it with your friends like this video thank you very much